If you're considering one-to-one -one, uh, implementation in your school, no doubt you've got some questions top of mind. And we put together a collection of uh, responses and feedback from other school leaders around the world about what's been happening in their schools. You might be thinking, what's going to be the impact in our classrooms? What are the implications for teaching and learning? And most importantly, what does it now make possible for students and teachers that they could not do before? We're stronger as a group than we are individually. And the laptop is what makes that possible. One-to-one -one has definitely been an equalizer in education. I would describe these classrooms now as charged with an energy that is intoxicating. One-to-one -one learning opens a world of possibility, a world where teachers and students collaborate on a journey of discovery, where schools become ever more vibrant, interconnected communities, where empowered students take charge of their learning have a ton of information. Each girl at McGee Private Girls School in New Orleans has her own laptop. It's an integral part of every class. No more history textbooks. Today they're collectively accessing data banks on political contributions. This is where the New York Times and the Washington Post are getting their information from. Having like real world examples, like straight from the internet, like real time, and that really enhances the learning experience. No longer do students rely on teachers to be disseminators of information. They can access an abundance of information with every click. But with guidance from teachers to help them understand, evaluate, and use the information, they're able to delve deep and grapple with big concepts. You all may not be professional geographers yet, but you have the ability to develop an informed opinion on this question. The hypotenuse is the side across from the 90 degree angle. Back in 1996, every fifth through 12th grader, every teacher, every administrator at Cincinnati Country Day School received a laptop. But I want to try to have one note available so we can do a little peer review of the homework last night. As learning changed, so did the role of the teacher. They became navigators, collaborators, coaches, and mentors. And I'm going around trying to be the helper, the instigator, helping them with questions, uh, asking them questions, and, and, and trying to sort of guide them. They discovered that with one-to-one -one learning, class time is more effective. Teachers see what students are working on as they're doing it and give instant feedback. I can take the pulse of my class and know exactly what they know and what they don't know within seconds. I don't think technology makes a bad teacher a good teacher, but I think technology can make a good teacher a great teacher. Students at Carrollton School of the Sacred Heart in Miami prepare for a future we can't even fathom yet. Well, I think also it's just the sky, right? Like the they take for granted that in English class they can make online annotations on an Emily Dickinson poem, and the whole class shares and analyzes those ideas. That's just something else for you to think about as you're coming up with your independent critical thought on this poem. Aren't we all truly digital citizens? Don't we owe it to our young people to try to help them navigate this world with informed skills? Headmistress Suzanne Cook says she became a pioneer in championing one-to-one -one learning because she realized the importance of preparing students for their future, a future we can only glimpse. Every day we walk into a classroom or a school building and we see children and young people. We are embracing the future. What we want to do is to create or to help in the creation and the formation of confident, compassionate digital citizens in whose hands and uh, minds are our future. Primary sources and secondary sources. And it's not just students at small private schools who are experiencing the difference. Students at Kent School District, one of the largest in Washington State, are selected for Tech Academy by lottery. They put a challenge on you and they give you a lot of homework. And so my experience with the Tech Academy, I think it's just fun and awesome. Where there's ethnic and socioeconomic diversity, teachers say one-to-one -one learning is an equalizer. Kids are more engaged, 
which leads to amazing leaps. With technology, I'm able to put my assignments into more like bigger scale and take them to a different level. And that's when we see really powerful things happen for kids because they care and they're interested and they're excited. And that's when we start getting parent phone calls like, my student is spending so much time on, on schoolwork, what have you done? What's more, results show up in more traditional measures too, such as standardized test scores. The hard evidence really was very clear is that, that students that had 24-7 access, because they were so engaged in their learning, outperformed their peers in every single content area. Um, and not just slightly outperformed, um, significantly outperformed. All these students from throughout the country are showing how the power of one-to-one -one learning opens the world for unlimited opportunity. With vision and commitment, each of these schools makes that possible. This is always about learning. I cannot imagine school without technology at all. 